Welcome back. I hope you are doing well. Today I have got you another top 10 jailbreak fix and they are compatible with iOS 13.5. Now let's go to the first one. So this is the tweak that allow the icon to bounce. So when the icon has notification on it and as you can see on the app store and on message and these two apps are bouncing and if I go to another page and you can see here I have Facebook, I have Gmail and Messenger and they are, they are bouncing. Hope is a brand new site the Twix and basically for the Twix it allows you to have more feature so to invoke the Twix it is pretty simple so I'm gonna show you on my home screen so to invoke it you just hold on status bar right here and then you can see it bring up the new option right here so the first one you can see the information about your phone but to see it you need to confirm with your face ID and below that you're gonna see the date and also the weather as well and then below weather you can see um, some of the options here where you can respring run UI cut, shut down your phone or reboot or you can go to settings and below that you're gonna see um, battery health and also um, you're gonna see your storage and if you swipe here you're gonna access to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and so on it is pretty awesome it just um, gives you additional feature and below that you can also access to any app on your iPhone as well so it is a quick way to access your app and now go to this page you're gonna see a web browser where you can quickly search something and then if I swipe one more time, I can go to Notepad and then we have Timer and then we have um, the World Clocks and right here we have Calculator and right here we have Maps and I can swipe again to go to um, Hop Countdown and then I can just um, draw something here now move on to perfect apps which are certain so for the tweak it is basically allow you to have the ipad multitasking style for your iphone so the good thing about the tweak you can close all apps at once as well now when i go to multitasking right here so we have the grid style from the ipad and then i can just fly down here and then all apps will be closed and sometimes i have to try multiple times and now it does work and when I go back to multitasking, you can see all apps are closed. Milky Way 2 also a good trick as well, where you can run the app in window mode. So for example, when I go to the app store right here, and then when I go to multitasking, I can just hold on the app, and then it will open in window mode where I can use app, and then I can do the other thing as well. So you can do uh, multiple things at the same time and you can see the app store is fully working right here. Wonder bar allow you to customize pretty much everything on status bar and mostly you can customize the carry icon, you can customize the Wi-Fi icon, Bluetooth and also the battery as well right here you can see the color has been changed and all of those can be applied from here so you can see we have cellular data color where you can select the color right here and then you can just click on done and I'm gonna show you on battery icon so I can change some color right here and then I'm gonna change this one as well and also this one and now let me respring my phone to see the change so I'm gonna click on respring now if you take a closer look on my status bar you can see on the carrier icon here and also on battery as well it has uh, it has been changed home screen quick actions for the tweaks it is basically allow you to disable some options from 3d touch so if you want to disable or enable them you can just um, apply from here so if I want to disable rename on folder so when the option is disable and now when I go to let's say I want to rename the folder when I force touch there is no option because the option we just disable using that tweak so to enable it I'm gonna click on enable this one and then when I go back to folder where I can force touch and now we can rename it as you can see here so usually we can just use plus and minus button to increase or decrease volume but after you install the tweak you can use 
the volume up and volume button to change the brightness so to do that you're gonna click on the volume up and volume down at the same time so I'm gonna click on it so you can hold on it and then you can release and now I can use my volume up or volume down to decrease or increase brightness as you can see here and after you leave it for 5 seconds it's gonna go back to volume and let me leave it for a while and now I can just um, use volume as usual as you can see here so now when you play your music and when you go to your iPhone lock screen and now on the music player you can see we have the shuffle button and also the repeat button each side as you can see here so you can just um, shuffle it or you can just um, repeat the song and you can just apply from here so for these brand new tweaks it allows you to customize notification so you can also change the color notification ratio and also the list header as well so you can set the color from here where you can tie the number and sometimes I can tie it uh, randomly so um, it is a bit hard for me and then I can just click on set and now we can go to set notification um, ratio I'm gonna go to let's say 15 and I can click on set and I can respring my phone so now the phone has been respring and you can take a look on the notification and we have the new color and also the notification ratio as well and you can see it is um, a bit a bit rounder than before and finally thank for watching i hope you like all of these tweaks and then i will catch you guys in the next one and don't mind me if i pronounce some word or some sentence incorrectly and i hope you enjoy the video